presentation of rota spray of sustainable denim dyeing and finishing. Since this is a platform for denim, I will speak only about uh, denim, not about other textile field, and also not about too much about Waco technology. Our slogan is towards a more sustainable textile industry. So we know that global textile industry is uh, one of the longest and most complicated industry in the world. And this is having, uh, involves a lot of uh, agricultural uh, products, synthetic and natural fibers, dyes and chemicals, auxiliaries, water, waste water, water consumption, and finally the waste. We know that apparel production overview, if we consider the apparel production overview, we see that the main thing is raw material, then it is coming production of natural and synthetic fibers, production of yarn, filaments and fabrics, then weight treatments, pre-treatment, dyeing, printing and finishing, and then it ends at garment manufacturing. So where we see in the left side that uh, the dyes, additives and water are added in the process and at the end that emission, consumption and waste. So this is our area of responsibility, how we reduce this thing to give a better world to live for us and the next generation of us. We see in textile value chain, we have this uh, cotton cultivation, spinning, weaving, kneading, weight processing, and garment making. If you see that no effect, moderate effect, large effect, and very large effect, this weight processing is the main area where the impact is extremely high. So this is the large effect, and this is the very large effect. Now, we have the commitment as a producer or manufacturer of textile goods, but we know that the most polluting industry of the world, we have some responsibility. Now, our responsibility, worker safety, to minimize the pollution, air, water, and soil, optimize use of resources, raw material, energy, water, and chemical, waste reduction and control. Again, the waste reduction is raw material, dyes, chemical, energy, water, and finished goods. So we respect the requirement. We have the responsibility, and we should look for the revolution in the manufacturing process. Our conventional dyeing or finishing method is consisting of a padding method, which, which we all are very much habituated of. Now the padding method is having the 100% penetration, flexible in chemicals, simple cleaning, and it's very easy to use. There are a lot of concerns. Let's see about the concerns. That the low process speed, suppose when we are talking about uh, is tainter application of chemical application over a fabric, then the speed because of 70 to 80 percent of pickup of the liquor, the process speed is very uh, low. So normally in knitting industries, we also have 110 to 130 percent of pickup. So this consists of high energy, uh, drying energy cost, high auxiliary consumption due to full penetration or padded overflow, tailing and center side variation potential, no single side application possibility, no different application per side is possible in a single passage, and relatively low concentration of active substance. So this is not possible actually uh, in, in, in a conventional padding method. So what are the solutions? So Waco and Rota Spray brings different type of solution depending on different type of 
requirement or the production process. So we have the old one which Waco is manufacturing and uh, supplying to the industry is Waco Sigma which started in 1953 in Germany. Then Waco Protec which is responsible for the health of the operators. It is an encapsulated system which is not allowing the aerosols to go out of the system and the operator should not breathe it. Waco Neo, this is designed for denim finishing and denim dyeing. This is also an encapsulated system. And rota spray, which is rota dye twin, this is basically manufactured for denim yarn dyeing, over dyeing, and also application of coating on the single side application in the stainter frame. Now the production characteristics, the usually the when we are doing a uh, reactive dyeing or a VAT dyeing or a sulfur dyeing in an indigo slasher uh, machine, we know that we need a clean core or we need a, a ring dyeing. In Waco or rotor spray technology, it's possible that how much penetration you want, that is totally on your hand. So if you want to have a comp, this is normally in a padder, if I am talking about, uh, say, uh, if I am talking about a padding of over dyeing, then it is 100% penetration. We can change the amount of application over the yarn or fabric surface in this way. This is depending on you, how much you want to penetrate. And in this way, you can go to a complete penetration like a pattern. But if you want to keep your uh, inside, the core empty and only do the surface action, then you can do only the surface action. The benefits is uh, contact free application. That means the material is not coming in contact with the liquor, which is not disturbing the dynamic equilibrium of the process and not making any tailing or any center side variation. Then uh, we can do single side application, which is not possible in pattern. So you can do a single side dyeing, a single side over dyeing, or two colors in two different sides. This is possible with, since we are not touching the uh, fabric, only whatever is sprayed, the material has to accept. Low pickup, so there are, therefore low uh, drying energy, enabling high speed production, fast batch changeover, easy to use, and excellent reproducibility. I would be like to explain you also one thing, that in a slasher dyeing machine, when we have a requirement of small uh, colors or small topping or small bottoming, something like that, we are using to do a 5,000 meter of production or 10,000 meter of production, which is really a cost problem, then the logistic problem, stock, you have to keep it uh, stock for a long period of time. The sales and marketing as well as the product development team is always having with this unused material. In our technology, you can do a changeover of color in the running machine. What you have to do, you just have to reduce down the speed from your normal speed to a very low speed. Wait for three to five minutes, your color is changing from one color to other color, and then you can use this for the next collection or the next topping or next bottoming or whatever you want. Sorry. So this is actually a almost pressureless liquid going to a rotating disc and the efflux age of the spray uh, disc is uh, making the small droplets. Normally the small droplets are much bigger in size than that of aerosol. And these droplets are having a kinetic energy because of the rota rotational speed of the rotor. And this is actually throwing these droplets uniformly over the surface of the material web. 
now it is actually when it is coming out it's coming out as a filament and then it's this filament is breaking into the droplets each drops are having the same size and this is known as micro droplets and these micro droplets are going on to the material so you can see this is actually uh, a taken uh, picture where you can see that the filaments are forming here in this place and this filament is finally breaking into the micro droplets and it's going towards the material. Or you have also the possibility to do the fashions where you don't want to cover the whole fabric. So there you can make a droplets just drip off. So you don't give it too much of energy to the micro droplet to go directly and to penetrate the fabric. You just drip off the droplets on the surface and make an effect. This effect can be reproduced every time the same thing repeatedly if you keep the parameters always the same. So this is rotor dia twin. We have this two boxes of this configuration where we have four spray point per box. So normally rotor dia twin are consisting of two boxes. One is from one side, another is from one side, another side. If you want only one side, then you keep another box off. And if you want both sides, then you use both sides. Also it is possible to use both sides with a lighter depth with one box. Now what, where is our field of application? Apparel, textile, outdoor and sportswear, denim, terry towel, carpets, home textile, technical textile, workwear or functional, uh, functional finishes. Example of finishing effect, hand fill modification like softening, dye fixation for reactive sulfur, vat, over dyeing or tinting, suavity improver, easy care finish, resin and flat finish, soil repellent, hydrophobic or oleophobic, hydrophilic, anti-static, antimicrobial, at present age antiviral, and many more, whatever you want to do. But the leaker has to be sprayable and not very high viscous. So this is important of selecting the chemistry that it should have a viscosity lower than 100 millipascal second. So where we use uh, Waco or Rota spray, normally in this case I shown it's uh, Waco application. The first picture is uh, the sulfurizing. We all know that we have always facing a warp shrinkage problem uh, inconsistency because of lack of control of moisture in the denim fabric. So before entering to the rubber belt, if we can spray some water consistently over the fabric and giving always the same amount of water before going to the rubber belt, the shrinkage is always constant. If you want to keep your fabric with having a warp shrinkage less than minus two, you will always achieve my less than minus two. One day you get minus one, another day you get minus five. This will not happen if you, you, if you control the moisture and control the rubber belt pressure. Then if you want to put for reactive printing, one phase reactive printing, if you want to uh, use a <laughs> less amount of urea or some of our customers mainly in France and in Turkey are claiming that they are you doing no urea reactive printing. So what they are doing, they are spraying the water, getting the fabric, having the required moisture and then they put it into the festoon steamer. For raising and MRIing and peaching. <laughs> now mainly with the wool fabric the all or a fabric, a denim fabric with wool weft, which is very much uh, in a high fashion for the Scandinavian countries, these can be much more 
uh, tear strength improver if we can do a pre-moisturizing before you go for uh, the emmerizing or peaching. So this is, these are the two examples. One is uh, used, suppose the PU, uh, sorry. So which is getting sprayed over the fabric surface. This is like this, the technology is like this. It's one side application of PU. And in this, you can see that this is a P, uh, PU plus pigment. So if you want to change the color of uh, the front side or back side or both side, just applying a PU with pigment, then you can do it like this. And in standard, the position of Waco or a rotor spray system is here, which is uh, giving you the possibility to, uh, to apply instead of a pattern. And then normally instead of 50 to 70, 55 to 70 percent in oven fabric, you get the same effect with 20 to 25 percent of the application. And therefore, you can increase your production speed from 30 meter per minute to 60 meter per minute very easily without having any problem of your quality. Classical fabric and denim yarn dyeing. So we can, uh, we have customers in this uh, world who are doing sulfur spray dyeing, PS2 reactive dyeing instead of PDPS. So PDPS is pad dye, pad steam where we are saying PS2 mint pad spray steam, where the entire drying is eliminated for reactive dyeing. Then PSV35 reactive dyeing, PS2 bad dyeing, indigo spray dyeing, pigment spray dyeing, chemical oxidation, color fixation. And for over dyeing, we can do dyeing or uh, over dyeing, single side or both side, surface or full body dyeing, ECAT or space dyeing, which is common in Asian countries, uh, salt, salt and paper dyeing, more easy shading and laser friendly uh, ring dyeing effect. So we can do a reactive dyeing which is totally laser friendly. I would uh, invite all of you to come to our booth. We can show some small cutting which is a reactive dyed but can be very easily destroyed by laser. If you go spray dyeing, normally conventional machine is having six to eight box, sometimes 10 box of indigo dyeing. Uh, we can offer an indigo dyeing, not very dark shade, but from 2.4% to 3.5% 3 of indigo shade. And these are the real indigo dyed yarn samples photo. In our booth, we can also show you some of the yarn dyed sample. And instead of this huge amount of dipping and oxidation, we just need two boxes and a steamer for a indigo dyeing, followed by a chemical oxidation with hydrogen peroxide, or not, depending on how much you want the wash resistance. So this can make a baby slasher concept. In baby slasher concept, normally the benefit is instead of stopping every time, wasting 600 meter, you can do it by wasting 150 meter maximum of the yarn. Now, what, how a baby slasher can look like? So the top one is a cotton concept. So one pre-weighting box, two washing box, a pre-dryer, two rotor spray unit, one steamer, you can see the steamer here, and then you can have some uh, spray off concept, uh, another Waco spray or a padder here, something it is optional, you can do, you cannot do. Then two spray, two washing box or oxidation box, and then you go to sizing. And in case of tensile lyosol, that where the weight strength is very low, in that case, if we are using the huge uh, dyeing machine, it's always getting impossible to do a very good quality dyeing. So in that case, we really do not know uh, that 
if it is required to use the entire slasher range or a rope range to do a tensile lysol dyeing. So what we can do? We can, we can have this configuration, which is, uh, which is really a two small configuration, one pre-weighting, pre-dyed, two dyeing, steamer, and then the next process. Uh, better to say that uh, this version is not yet been commercialized. Together with three top German textile university, we are working on this. We are in a very good, we achieved very good results until yet. This is still not in patent, but until and unless this is commercially getting uh, approved by any customer, we cannot say that this is done, but this is going to be in operation, I think within maximum in one year of time. And uh, fortunately, I am one of the person together with this German universities is solely involved to develop this process. Now, this is an indigo spray dyeing. When it is sprayed, it looks like this. Then when it is going into the flash steamer, then it's converting into the leucoform, completely greenish yellow. And then when it is entering to the side wash, then it is, or when it is going to airing and skying, then it is completely blue. So after spraying, it looks like this, the first one. Then, but in the developing inside the steamer, and then it becomes blue. About the space drying or the vintage look, if you don't want to dye the entire yarn, if you want to give a effect just a uh, space-wise dyeing, so you can do a dyeing like this, which is dry on wet. So you have to use the pre-dryer to dry the yarn and then you can spray the dye. Giving this effect which is continuous and consistently produced and you can have a slubby effect on a normal yarn. And then you can do a complete dyeing on wet on wet just like this. The places where you can put in your uh, retrofit in your machine so this is for sulfur topping or for the color denim. You can place it in this position after the entire uh, indigo dyeing range. Then these are some real picture of uh, the color denim production. So these are the indigo and the sulfur dyeing uh, different yarn samples. So this, the first one is a vintage look, which I was explaining that you, are, you can not give the complete coverage. You look like this, and you, if you want, you can have the clean look like this by directly covering the entire penetration and to have this full covered look. So do for sandwich dyeing with the rotor iron, the positions of the rotor dyer are one is here, another one, another two is two are here. Then for the spray steam wash oxidation fixation technique is just like this. What is your benefit instead of pattern? You can do one side over dying. This is very very uh, fashion demand nowadays that. We don't want to lose the day, clean twill look in the back side of the denim. Instead, we want to change the front color look. The front color is blue. You want to top with a green or a yellow or a black or a brown or whatever it is. But your back side remains the same clean denim look. So you can do a one side application. Or you can do the front side keeping the indigo the same. No change of indigo. You want to change the color of the backside. So you don't need to take your fabric to the center to do a pigment coating in the backside. One passage, one machine is completely eliminated. In the same uh, 
same overdying machine in sped steam machine, you can do only the backside. And if you want to do two different color, one in the backside, one in the front side, then that is also possible. You can do one in the backside, one in the front side. And to make more fashion effect, more playground for the washing technology stand for the laundry. The PS2 process. The PS2 process is getting very, very popular now in Pakistan. Normally, this is uh, this is uh, specifically for the bottom weights. But if somebody wants to do it in uh, denim over dyeing, PS2 is for VAT or for reactive dyeing. So what it is? Normally, in a PDPS process, we need a dye stuff padding and thereafter we need a very big drying and after that we do the chemical chemical padding and then we do the steaming and then washing now in since why it is required because if we do not dry then there is a hydrolysis happening in this uh, uh, if we mix the alkali and the reactive dye together so we need to do a dry after that we have to apply the chemicals then we steam since rotor spray technology is not doing any contact we do not need the drying so this entire drying can be completely eliminated and we can change it from pad pad means a uh, first pad with the dye stuff or with the auxiliary then we spray and then we steam so that this amount of heating energy can be easily solved can be saved we don't need this heating energy this is getting more and more popular in pakistan now we have some requirement from turkey and some requirement from china which in coming six months, we have to deliver our machines to these companies. So you can see the eliminated intermediate drying with 1,000 to 1,300 tons of carbon dioxide per annum. You can save this amount, which is a commitment to the society. Now, the PS2 process for reactive and hard bad dye, so you can see from no salt to very low salt. So for the pastel color or for the very light shade, the salt is not required. For very dark shade, some amount of salt is required, but this is also very minimum. You can see also these fabrics are in our stall. So this is VAT, this is reactive, again VAT, again reactive. But you can also see the puckering effect in the uh, stitching line for the reactive diet which is not possible for the conventional way of dying now this is a data published uh, by nishat mill which is uh, 1440 tons of salt per year was their requirement which in ps2 process they reduced to from 1,440 tons to 480 tons of uh, salt. For medium shade, it is 168 tons of salt. And for uh, light shade, there is no salt. The pad batch process, pad batch process, uh, I for denim is not very common so I would not explain too much but I can only say that pad batch process we can do a complete process uh, one shift re reduction in the production so from three shift we can reduce to two shift in the total entire batch process so I thank you everybody I thank Sandeep and denims and jeans to invite and to let me uh, the possibility to explain the spray dyeing technology which is not very common in today's world but since we are committed towards sustainability we are committed towards the savings of our resources we would focus on minimal application technology like a spray technology and to try to save our mother earth and to make the mother earth 
more livable for our next generation. Thank you very much. I would like to have some questions, see if you have some questions. Any questions? No questions, okay. Thank you. I cordially invite all of you just to stop in front of our booth uh, and to see some small samples. And in this presentation, I could not complete all possibility of what we can do. But if you personally visit to our booth, and if you have a specific requirement, a specific question, we will be more than happy to explain this thing to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.